So when will this actually happen? And what would get built first? The answer depends on economics, not technology. The technology for space data centers exists today. The question is not if it can be done, but when it becomes economically rational. Short term, 2025 to 2030. Edge computing demonstrations. Expect to see expanded testing of commercial computing hardware in space environments. Small-scale processing of satellite data onboard spacecraft before transmission to Earth. Military and governmental applications where cost is secondary to security and capability. The International Space Station and future commercial space stations will host computing experiments. These prove technical feasibility but do not represent true data centers. More like research labs testing components. Medium term, 2030 to 2035. Specialized niche applications emerge. The first economically justified space data centers will likely serve very specific purposes where the advantages outweigh costs. Candidates include processing massive volumes of Earth observation data from satellite constellations. Current systems generate terabytes of imagery daily that must be transmitted to Earth for processing. Doing initial processing in orbit reduces bandwidth requirements Secure computing for military intelligence and financial applications, where physical isolation provides value beyond cost considerations. Blockchain and cryptocurrency mining if energy costs in space become competitive, though this remains speculative. These initial facilities would be small, perhaps equivalent to a few server racks, and highly specialized rather than general purpose data centers. Long term, 2035 to 2045. Larger scale deployment becomes feasible if launch costs continue declining and component technology advances. SpaceX's Starship, if successful in achieving full reusability, could reduce launch costs by an order of magnitude. Blue Origin's New Glenn and other heavy lift vehicles entering service increase launch capacity. At some threshold, likely when launch costs fall below $100 to $200 per kilogram and radiation hardened computing improves in cost performance, the business case for space data centers becomes viable for broader applications. General purpose cloud computing in space would likely focus on AI model training, large scale data analytics, and applications that benefit from high performance computing with abundant power and cooling. Factors that would accelerate deployment, continued exponential growth in AI computing demands. If terrestrial energy infrastructure cannot keep pace, space becomes attractive despite high costs. Breakthrough in radiation hardening technology that allows commercial-grade electronics to survive in space longer.